Kathleen Hendricks, How to Be an Adult in Relationships, The Five Keys to Mindful Loving In the book, How to Be an Adult in Relationships, The Five Keys to Mindful Loving by Kathleen Hendricks, we explore the essential aspects of mindful loving that help us build strong bonds with our partners in adulthood. These five aspects, known as the five A's, are attention, acceptance, appreciation, affection, and allowing others to be who they are. The summary delves into the importance of these five A's in both building a coherent identity and fostering personal power and serenity. Furthermore, it uncovers how our childhood experiences influence our behavior in adult relationships and emphasizes the importance of mindfulness and commitment in maintaining healthy connections. The Five A's of Love The author discusses the importance of attention, acceptance, appreciation, affection, and allowing in building strong, healthy, and loving relationships. As children, our emotional needs are met by our parents, who provide attention, acceptance, appreciation, affection, and allow us to be ourselves. These five A's, according to the author, are pivotal to developing self-esteem and a coherent personality. They're also crucial to building robust adult relationships. The five A's correspond to different ways we can show love and care for our partners. Attention means being a mindful witness to our partner's experiences, including their emotional pain and past traumas. Acceptance, the bedrock of a healthy relationship, involves mutual acceptance of each other's strengths and limitations. Appreciation entails supporting our partners in the pursuit of their dreams and valuing their gifts. Affection means holding and touching our partners in respectful and caring ways, thus fulfilling our innate need for safety and security. Finally, allowing involves accepting life's ups and downs without trying to control the outcomes. At every stage of our lives, we all need to feel the love and nurturance of attuned, loving people. By attending to our partner's emotional needs and being mindful of their experiences, we build strong and healthy relationships. The five A's help us foster personal power, cultivate inner peace, and become better at loving and being loved. Childhood Traumas and Adult Relationships David Richo's personal experience reveals that childhood can leave deep emotional scars that influence our behaviors in adult relationships. The unmet five A's of parenting, attachment, attention, affection, appreciation, and acceptance can potentially leave individuals vulnerable to abuse and self-blame in adulthood. Many people who grew up in abusive households often unknowingly reenact the past in their relationships, leading to emotional turmoil. To heal past traumas and break out of this vicious cycle, Individuals must grieve past feelings of loss or neglect and share painful memories with people they trust. This process enables individuals to understand, accept, and allow their emotions, subsequently learning how to give and receive abundant love and trust. Mindfulness in Psychology Discover how combining Western psychology and mindfulness techniques helps clients deal with negative thoughts and emotions. The author encourages clients to pay attention to their feelings and hold on to them until they change or reveal something deeper. Clients then learn to notice their thoughts and feelings through meditation and let them go using the five A's, attending, accepting, appreciating, feeling affection, and allowing. This practice takes patience and discipline, similar to the labor of baking bread. Love yourself to find love. Love is more than just a happy accident and can be found when we take care of ourselves. This book emphasizes the importance of respecting ourselves to engage in rewarding relationships and offers advice on how to do so. Before going on dates, we should make an unconditional promise not to change ourselves to please someone else and remember to prioritize our vulnerable inner selves. When choosing a partner, it's vital to pick someone who desires a similar style of relationship as us. To find the right partner, we must be open to people walking into our lives while also loving ourselves enough to express our needs and wants. By respecting ourselves, we can open up a space for the right person to walk in. The Three Phases of a Lasting Relationship Relationships go through three phases, romance, conflict, and commitment, to reach their full potential. Romance is a joyful experience that can be fleeting, 
leading to conflict as couples discover the darker sides of each other's characters. Through cooperation and compromise, couples can move toward the commitment phase, where they give and receive the five A's and maintain love, even during disagreements. By understanding these phases, couples can build healthy, lasting relationships, accepting that each phase is normal and necessary. Like nature's cycles, relationships transform but can return to bud, bloom, and thrive. Overcoming Relationship Fears As relationships progress, fears of betrayal and intimacy can arise. The author of this book recommends the AAA approach to manage these fears, which involves admitting, allowing, and acting as if. Engulfment and abandonment are the central relationship fears that couples have to overcome. Both of these fears come from feeling powerless. Engulfment is the fear of losing freedom, while abandonment means a loss of attention, appreciation, or affection. By admitting your fears without blaming anyone, allowing yourself to feel them without judging, and acting as if you have no fear, you can master them. Letting go of fears can create a lasting bond between you and your partner. Peacefully End Relationships Letting go of a relationship can be painful but ultimately more rewarding than holding on to something that has already expired. Signs that a relationship might be nearing its end, such as a lack of happiness, safety, trust, and emotional needs being met, indicate it may be time to consider ending it peacefully. Strategies for peacefully ending a relationship include discussing reasons with your partner, giving yourself time to grieve alone, and seeing it as a new beginning to build upon. The Power of Loving One Person As an adult, the author recalls how his grandma's love and affection gave him the comfort and security that taught him how to love others. He believes that loving one person teaches us how to love the rest of the world. By committing ourselves to one person and giving and receiving the five A's, attention, acceptance, appreciation, affection, and allowing, we learn how to do it with others. Through our relationships with our significant others, we also learn to be compassionate and accept their imperfections. This concept can be applied in real life, like fostering cooperation and good feeling among staff in the workplace by using the 5 A's blueprint and showing compassion by being respectful of their potential. By making this commitment, we can deliver these five aspects of love to the world and teach ourselves and others how to bring love to the world. To wrap up, how to be an adult in relationships encompasses the importance of the foundational 5 A's A attention, acceptance, appreciation, affection, and allowing in building strong adult relationships. By exploring the relationship between childhood experiences and adult bonds, the book highlights the significance of addressing unresolved emotional scars to achieve thriving partnerships. It also emphasizes the role of mindfulness and commitment in overcoming fears and letting go of negative thoughts, allowing individuals to create a healthy and lasting bond with their partners. Ultimately, the book teaches how love and compassion in one relationship can inspire us to extend the same love and care to others, nurturing deeper and more meaningful connections.